Just talking? Well, what's the show about? About nothing. All right, all right. Welcome back to the Strange Noise Podcast, everybody. What's up, everybody? Yo, yo, yo. Thanks. Mama's for... in the house. Oh, mama's in the papas. Oh, uh, just. Huh? No. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. You fucking put him on the spot. <laughs> yeah. See, I didn't have nothing in my head. Uh, Yo, mama. Do <laughs> I took the wind right out of your yeah. sails. I'm sorry, Ed. Fuck you, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Deflated. <laughs> Deflated. Deflated, Ed. Oh. Yep. Whoa. Well, yeah. fucking happy Halloween. Oh, yes. Hey. All you uh, satanic beans out there. Yep. You ghouls and goblins. Either fucking cauldrons. Boys and ghouls. Whatever you want to call it. We did bring a Ouija board for this episode. No, we didn't. We didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, we it's didn't. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Ed thinks about Ouija boards. Yep. <laughs> I thought about joking about it too, and I thought, man. I would have walked out, bro. Yeah. I I can't, you, know? you didn't even want to buy no. one, huh? I can't. No, no <laughs> way. Dude, mm. they're pretty expensive now, right? Like, I feel oh, like, like a good one, yeah. Yeah, like a real one. Like, yeah. I imagine you can find one. You know what be? A more haunted one is like one from the Goodwill because it has some stories Ooh, with God. it. Oh, I'm sure, man. Some I'm, blood. I'm wondering if there's like a different category of of the like quality, you know? Like, does somebody say like, no, that one won't work. You need one that's, that's built. Enchanted or yeah. whatever. You know? Maybe built from like fucking uh, a certain type of wood. Yeah. And it's got like fucking uh, <laughs> wolf's bane or something. Right. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> some weird the shit. Bone. The, the, what you call it? Ivory. Oh, oh yes. you know, like the the wands, you know, like on fucking oh. Harry Potter, how they've oh, got like the yeah. fucking uh, the heart string, yeah, dragon's and... heart string. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the is that what they have that. them? It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a, a myth. core. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. The lower... have... Go ahead. You guys are fucking stepping all over. You. We are. Like, you fucking nerds. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather you say it than I guess. <laughs> Yes, that's that's how they're made in 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 this in the story. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, yeah. in real life. Yeah, in real life, <laughs> there's like different qualities of wood, mm. and then like the core could be different. I, I just know because of my daughter. So I, I know like the Dumbledore ones, like the most powerful, right? Or was that it? I don't know. Uh, there is one. The Elder One is the most powerful. Is that the one? Yeah. Is that the one he has mm. or something? He does have it, but yeah. it, I don't think it's his wand. I think he just holds it it's there's part of the story where oh, like okay. elder, an elder one is all right fuck that anyway yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a whole different topic yeah. you almost had me i was about to jump in too i was, I was good i really was i, was I need pop. to say like move on, yeah, bro. we gotta move on that's not even fucking on the topic it's not even on the freaking yes the, the that's list another today. episode yeah we'll have a harry potter themed episode yep. maybe but it'll probably happen i, mean, I do this... like the movies hey see yeah they're pretty good then we will have one they're solid we will have some butter beer yeah but uh oh, it's gross anyway see really yeah. Oh, it's good, dude. I liked it. Uh, it's too sweet. I heard. So oh, no, sad. I haven't had Gotta any. have it iced. Hot, it's too sweet. How are we I still think. in Harry Potter? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See? I, I thought I moved Fucking you guys off of this one. Shits, man. Strange noise. But, uh, <laughs> On the way here, yeah. I did see something interesting that I, I didn't think happened anymore. Uh, I saw what I assumed to be a homeless guy. Um, All right. And he was going in between traffic, uh, spraying windows, and uh -huh. wanting to wipe them down for people. For free? Oh well, no. I mean, he wanted to get paid. Oh, I, I okay. imagine. I imagine. Okay. Unless he yeah, just, but he just sprays them first and then asks for the money after. <laughs> That's the old TJ <laughs> trick. You want to finish? Give me the. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If not, yeah. you fucking. You use it wet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just turn my wipers on. Yeah. I'm good. Oh. Thank you, bro, for the Windex. Imagine <laughs> doing that. <laughs> yeah. in front of too, because that shit sprays everywhere. Like right now, I fucking gleaked everywhere. Wow. COVID. Same thing. COVID. Yeah, you better watch out, man. Yep. But no, yeah, I just turned the wipers on. Done. That's a good way to. I think I did. I, I don't know if I mentioned this on the podcast, but I went to AutoZone, okay, get a battery for my car, walk out of AutoZone. One of my headlights is polished, <laughs> which is and, one of them. And uh, and the and, That's and the, fucked up. The guy walked up to me and was like, uh, or no, he didn't walk up to me. He like was waiting out there, and I go to my car, and I you know hit my alarm, and he's like. Fuck, wrong car. You know? Oh, <laughs> yeah. he thought it was his? He, he, no, he thought he was doing some other. It was a guy that was like, I'll, I'll clean your lights for, you know, oh. 10 bucks or whatever. And some other guy asked him, and his car was next to mine. It was gray. Oh, my God. <laughs> he, and the guy just said, hey, my, the gray car. And so he did my car. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, that's sick. A free Hey, dude, you got to finish. I'm sorry. You it, well, it, I was like, hey, you got to do the other one. He's like. Oh, I gotta charge you. I'm like, bro, you <laughs> like I didn't ask for this. Like, you know, he's all but 
I, you know, I'm just trying to get some money. I was like, whatever, fuck it. I just drove off a one, <laughs> a one headlight. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you either put the film back on my old one or you fucking fix the other one, dude. Straight up, man. <laughs> Grab some mud. Just <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, that's oh, my story. That's yeah, interesting. That's hilarious. Fuck, but dude. his response was like, fuck, wrong car. <laughs> 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 a wasted product. <laughs> you know? Man, he's really not good at yeah. his job. <laughs> Dude, but I didn't think that happened anymore. I didn't think the uh, the uh, still washed windows. Are I haven't seen it since TJ. Yeah, I haven't seen it forever either. I People was, trying to make a buck. Yeah, you I, do what you got to do. It's honorable. Yeah, yeah. It's hard I work. I it, mean, it's not hard work, but it's work. It's better than begging. I would yeah. say that. Just panhandlers. I, do, I, I agree. He's yes. offering a service. Yes. Yeah. 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 Which is why I never understood like. The people that you see, the panhandlers, and then you see like the dude selling flowers or like, yep. you know, whatever they're selling. Yeah. And you're going to judge one harsher than the other. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean. Yeah. It's like so crazy because they'll they'll use the, the argument of, hey, they're not licensed. They don't have um, like the, the seller's permit or yeah. whatever to be selling on the streets. But it's like they're fucking not begging. Yeah. yeah. Which they have a they're on the streets. I, I will agree. They're not going to have the money to do that shit, you know? I will agree that's a little, uh, or a decent concern. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to give money away, give it to somebody that, you know, is working for it yeah. as opposed yeah. to just, you know, panhandling. Right. Let me ask you guys something because this is <laughs> something that I have thought about and it's so funny. How would you feel if it was a white person selling fruit on the side of the road? Taking jobs? <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Hey, that's not, yeah, take a job. <laughs> Let me ask a different question. Go, go, go. Would you trust it as much as you trust the Mexican person selling the fruit, the oranges on the side of the road? Well, for me, I don't really trust them regardless. But yeah, I never same. trust even like those carts that sell fruit. I don't yeah. never have bought anything. But I've only bought flowers on the side of the road. You're right. Though if like say it was like a white person, I mean, we're gonna get this <laughs> selling uh, selling the flowers. Yeah. I would be more apt to like, no, I'm not going to buy it from, I'll buy it from like, you know, the, the older Mexican lady that's selling it down the road. Yeah. You got like some that. privilege, bro. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, I think the fruit is the one thing that makes me feel like for some reason, whatever it is, if I see a white or, or just, it doesn't have to be white. It could be any other race on mm -hmm. the side of the road holding fruit. I'll be skeptical. Like maybe you all think, what did you do to it? Yeah. Maybe I'll think like, <laughs> mm, how old is this fruit, you know? Yeah. But for whatever reason, because of the stereotype, I'm already thinking, oh, fruit laborers, you know? Yeah. These They're just trying to make a buck. The fruit. They're trying to make, yeah, trying to make a buck. They yeah. grow it, you know? Like, yep. I have a story for them that I don't even know. Yeah. 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 You, you know? assume that that's a good product that they're putting out just yep. because of this, the years, you know? Yeah. And yeah. then yeah. if you were to see like a different race doing it, you're like, did you do like, are you putting in the effort the way they would? Like, even right. though you don't know the actual effort that yeah. they're putting in. Yeah. I feel like if anything, if I seen a different race, like on the side of the road, like, did you knock over the original person <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and steal their product <laughs> and then move streets? You know? Hey man, that's happened. That's happened. And I'm sure. Yeah, for sure, man. Do you think they get in like little turf wars? Hey, bro, Ooh. this is my fucking corner. That's an interesting thought. I was wondering if they work together too. Like, there's just I feel like, big, yeah, they like, probably like drop them all off, I think. Yeah, like, like yeah. one of those things. Yeah. Yeah. I have heard of panhandlers getting into turf wars. What? Yeah, Whoa. like actual pan. Like, I, I believe that. I forgot where we were, but I remember like uh, one homeless dude yelling at another guy, be like, hey, no, this is my corner. Mm. Like, this is my corner. I forgot where we were at, but I was like, what the hell? They do that? <laughs> I think you have to. Hey, bro, you set your code B. We can't be on the same. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It says in our handbook right here. Hey, if he's already invested time, he's building rapport. Yeah. There's like things he's, he's conducting tail. like a business. Yeah, for real. I mean, there is like a code, right? Absolutely. Like, oh, got, yeah. yeah. Like, uh, I think what really like showed me the code was Mad Men. When they were, there was an episode of... Uh, hmm. It's, it's called the Hobo's Code, you know? Oh, and it was like... I gotta watch this the, one. Um, the guy, Don Draper, was explaining like that. They etch things on... And certain symbols on like... On the on the wood, on like the house. And to let you know if this person's like... um, They're gonna feed you or they're gonna actually pay you. Whoa. You know, oh, so like, like on the corner, like they'll leave a marking like on the... You know, the bottom brick of a yeah. building so that they know like, oh... These people will give me money or these people will give me food. Yeah, or shelter, oh. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Or they'll actually, like, you know, you work, you know, for them and they'll give you some money or something like that. That's pretty yeah, interesting. That's, yeah. that's not a, I mean, you got to gotta get creative when you're into that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I always thought, though, like, if I were ever to be homeless, like, 
I want to like, especially here in California, I mean, we have your good weather year round. Yeah. I'm just going to go straight down to the beach. <laughs> just yeah. chill. Well, one, I'll chill. Two, I'll have a shower because Every there's day. showers. Yep. <laughs> yep. So at least I'll be fairly clean for yeah. the most part. Yeah, it's true, man. And you get, the, you know, the awesome view of the beach. Yeah. These knuckleheads are paying freaking million dollars for this view and I get it for free. free. See, you're free. messing up. Huntington Beach people, you're not wearing your mask and you're messing up. <laughs> That's it. All the homeless fucking flood <laughs> Huntington Beach. Oh god. We get a we get a what a, not a cease and desist, but we get like an order because we we fucking we encouraged incited them. this. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> We incited the homeless migration. It's a, oh, that's great. They're like, we didn't know we could do that. <laughs> he let us know. Yeah, he let us know. <laughs> Thank you, strange noise. Thank you. <laughs> Become their prophets. Dude. The prophets of the homeless. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, man. But, uh, I'll take what I can get. Sweet. Uh, guys want to take a quick break? Yep. Oh, shit. We're there. We're there. Just about there. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. But uh, we'll take a quick break and we'll be, be right back. All right, all right. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning back in. Yay, yay. We're gone for a minute. We're in the lab with the pen and the pad. But uh, we're back. That's like your thing, huh? What? (laughs) You said that (laughs) plenty of times. One of my favorite lyrics. Yeah, yeah, cool. cool. All right, cool. All right. This is a really good lyric anyway. To the stories, Ray. Uh, Yes. So this week I did... Return to the movies. Yeah. I think I redeemed myself. Okay. Good. Right, what'd you I, see? What'd you see? If uh if theaters go under, I will not go out on Hocus Pocus. All right. Oh, awesome. That's you're a lucky. Good thing. You're lucky. <laughs> I did uh go check out Christopher Nolan's new movie. Ooh. Tenet. Uh, oh, how was it? Dude, uh so I liked it, but it's you can totally tell he made the movie to be rewatched. Mm. Like I was confused well, so a good thing about the movie is that it does have a payoff at the end. Okay. Um, it you know it kind of resolves itself. So whatever you know twist that you're hoping for, you get that Christopher Nolan twist. Um, but there's a little more meat in it, like where you can dissect it, where like you can rewatch it and kind of mm. go deeper into the clues. Um, not as deep as like Inception or anything like that, mm. but it still has you know some meat on it. Um, although if you guys do end up watching it, I'm interested to see what you guys think because. So when I was, when I was watching it, like, I didn't know if I was like going deaf because I was like, wait, what did they say? Like the music just seems so loud to me. And then I go and research and I guess they purposely mix the, the dialogue like mid level with the, with the, uh, the soundtrack. Okay. Was it listen harder or what? I have no clue why. Like I haven't found why they actually did that. Was it, compo- was it scored by Hans? No, uh, Hans, wow. cause Hans working on Dune. Oh, okay. so he couldn't oh. do it. Uh, they got another um, composer. Wow, that's uh, different. Yeah, although I like it, I I feel like uh, he who, I forgot who composed it, but they did a really good job of like matching the tone and the feel of oh, it. Okay, uh, it's a little more um, cool. electronic, I would say, which uh, I dig. Mm-hmm. And I think it was just a good move because Christopher Nolan is just kind of getting too synonymous with Han. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So like it's. Like you, you just assume that that score is going to be in every one of his movies. Yeah, yeah. it's so. like uh, what is it, Randy Newman and Disney? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm. <laughs> That's you a good change up then. <laughs> but yeah, overall, great movie. Um, I am interested to see if you guys do end up watching it. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll watch it definitely for sure. Tell me what you guys think of the the sound. Like it, it was driving me crazy. Like it almost made me not like the movie. Wow. Because I was just so like. Like I, I was turning to Vanessa. Like, what do they say? Wait, what, what do they say? Like, and I already yeah. have bad hearing as it is. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Me too. Gotta put that closed captioning on. That was. Oh, oh, <laughs> I love what, it. Yeah. I was I'm like, I can't wait to get this home so I can put the closed caption <laughs> yeah, on and actually yeah. read it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but nothing wrong with that. The story is like completely different than what you think. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. It's oh, so that's crazy. what they yeah. were saying. They were just trying to go to the market. What the fuck? <laughs> I've been like misquoting shit forever. <laughs> yep. It's like, damn, I didn't know. But yeah, so I will not go out on Hocus Pocus. Um, I do have a you, man. solid uh, movie under my belt. I am sad that it wasn't released at a better time because mm-hmm. I feel like, one, it's getting too much criticism because okay. it's basically the only blockbuster in theaters right now. So, And it was touted as the movie that was going to save theaters or save cinema. And I mean, that's a lot to what? carry. Yep. So it's a good movie. Yeah. But I mean, it's not the savior of movies. So... Hmm. I don't know why they did that. I, why I, would they even do that? Yeah, why would they connect, you know, because it were, synonymous with that? Well, they were hoping, well, the, the theaters were hoping, like, since they haven't had any, you know, 
any revenue for six months. They needed to get people's in, people in the theater, so they're yeah. like, they just oversold the movie in, the in hopes to movie. to bring him in. <laughs> the greatest the movie of our lifetime ever, ever told. <laughs> just just like this election, it's the yeah. most important election. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, the world's gonna end. Oh God, your life depends on it. Yeah. Vote. Please vote, but if, if you didn't know, the world's going to end regardless. Yeah, so <laughs> it will. Eventually. Yeah. Maybe this year, too. You'll probably be dead by then. You never know. Yeah. But so. uh, anyways, if you guys want, uh, go see Tenet. All right. It was a great movie. Check it out. Play it safe. Um, snack situation is a little awkward, but. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your own snacks. I always do anyway, but. Yeah, me too. Always. Just don't share your snacks. Don't get anybody infected with your COVID. Unless you're sharing with your, your group. There you go. In but which case, did you go with the group? Feel free. No, I just went with Vanessa. Oh, all right, oh okay. Cool. So, with that's your group? pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, with my group. Yeah, <laughs> my in group. <laughs> which core. if I have it, I'm giving it to her anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's the truth. But yeah, uh, I if I were to give it a score, I would give it a, a solid like four and a quarter stars. All right. Not a five star, but a good four and so a quarter. So four and a quarter. Bad. Yeah. Strange thumbs. <laughs> Strange thumbs. Strange thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> that's but, uh, a really good score, though. Damn, I'm surprised. Okay. It was, it was a good movie. Quarter. It was Jeez, a good movie. Huge. Um, okay. I, like I said, I, I'm interested to see where you guys stand with the, the sound mixing, you know, being like interested in music as we Eventually, are. Eventually, I'll check it out. If that will drive you as crazy as it did me. Yeah. It so, might. God, I'm I really want to hear what they say, now. even though I like the music, but. Yeah. I need to hear what you're fucking saying. Yeah. I need absolutely. to know your story. Yeah, you guys you may have a better thing. time if you guys watch it, wait till it comes out and watch it at home with the closed captions. Yep. Yeah. Which will make it better. Like, that's what I was I thinking kinda, the entire time. That kind of pisses yeah. me off, too. I have to do that because I have to look at the words instead of the screen. Dude, you know what's funny? Like, do you guys notice it's when like, you guys have the closed captions on that, like, at first in the movie, you're just like, you're constantly like, kind of looking back and mm -hmm. forth, but then. Like maybe thirty minutes into the movie, you just realize it's like second nature reading yeah. the close. Yeah, it takes a moment to get yeah. that groove. I noticed that when uh, I watched Farewell, the couple like earlier this year, late last year. Oh, with Aquafina. Aquafina, yeah, yeah. It's the movie's almost completely subtitles. All right. Um, which I was just kind of like, I didn't know that. I don't know if we talked about that already, but I don't think I remember that. Uh, I don't know if we brought it up. Okay. But uh, yeah, the movie's almost completely subtitles, and then I realized like. At first, I was like, oh, kind of bummed going into it. I was like, I got to read. Yeah. yeah. I'm not one of those guys. I don't want to read. I know. <laughs> I fucking read. I, I subscribed to Audible because I wanted it to be read to me. <laughs> <laughs> that's the truth. But that that's, is. I was kind of bummed. And then I realized, like, you know, 20 minutes into the movie, like, I'm just, like, second nature. Like, I'm just reading it. Like, I was like, oh. Nice. Cool. Did you watch Parasite? Did we talk about that? Did you yeah. Watch I watched Parasite. Same, okay. same exact same thing. thing. Yeah. Because yeah, it's, in, it's uh, subtitles the entire way. I didn't. Oh, okay. No, but it's on my list. Same thing with Farewell, too. I want to watch that. It's a... I think Parasite's a good movie, too. Like, uh... I I don't know. Maybe it was just me, but I didn't think it was as deep as everybody was saying it was. Like, people were saying, like, oh, it's this giant social commentary on the upper class and lower class. And I was mm. like... I thought, it, I, I thought it was a scary movie. Uh, it's a... More of a dark comedy. Oh, okay. A dark comedy? Yeah. Damn, I totally thought Thriller. Uh, there is thriller aspects, but um, think like there's at least I found there's comedic aspects, like some okay. funny. I'm trying to what I can compare it to. People died, and he's like, ha! <laughs> <laughs> she died. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> it's funny because whenever uh, Vanessa starts watching something, like I'll criticize it by saying, "Well, did somebody die in it?" Well, then I don't want to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good movie. <laughs> Not Nobody died in it, then it's not a good movie. <laughs> Although, if you think uh, about it, if a character dies in it, you're probably more emotionally invested yeah, in the movie. Exactly. So, yeah, it may not be a bad thing. Oh man, that's interesting though. But uh, yes, so with uh, well, with Halloween, are you guys dressing up this this year? I am. Fuck no, man. No, I am. But I, oh. it was like a, it's. it's pulling teeth because i just you didn't want to just you usually i can't dress up. find anything oh, i can't okay. find anything to i can't that settle resonates with you on anything yeah because mm. i'm so like i'm caught in the, the place where i want to look like whatever it is you know that i'm trying to go after or dress up as mm -hmm. like we got beards you know yeah yeah so thinking about people that i you know want to fucking dress up as it's like Sometimes it doesn't mix if you actually have facial hair, you yeah. know? Like you're, not, you're not going to shave it, yeah. No. And costume. if they're clean shaven, it's like, fuck, I don't want to do that. 
I want to do justice. I want to have that costume where people are like, that looks great. You mm -hmm. know, I could see it. You did it well. And that's, you know, cool. If you're going to put the effort into like having a costume, you want it to be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that just talks to like speaks to our nature in general. Like whenever we would do like, you know, any DIY stuff, yeah. like we would go all out with it for the most part and try to make it the best. Like yeah. there's kind of a perfectionist quality. That's why I'm in shaving there. my beard for my costume. Ooh, I can't see? Wait, dude. Just leaving the mustache. The dedication. He's going all out, I man. I love it. I'm I gonna fucking it, love it, man. It's going to grow back so quick. So <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's not sure. like me. I'll have to wait like three months. But <laughs> <laughs> so this is three months right now. This is my COVID beard. Right <laughs> this is my COVID beard. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so shitty. <laughs> Fuck, man. But, uh, dude, I. I love dressing up for Halloween, but it's one of those things for me, like, I'll think about it and, like, have the idea. Yeah. yeah. But if I don't start prepping by a certain time, I'm just, like, I'll bail and just take anything. Yeah. Like, this year. Yeah. That's where I'm at. This is, like, the first year in a while where I was actually, like, all right, I'll dress up, you know? It's I, it's, I think it has partly to do with, like, Nevaeh finally, like, realizing what, you know, we get dressed up for Halloween and oh. stuff like that. So now it's, like, okay. Which, also, it might play into what we... Always fucking expected from Ed, which is Christmas is going to be different for him. I yes. know, exactly. Yeah. Because because of the fam your Nevea. family, man. Yeah, yep. family man now. I want to please bring my family. Yep, uh, yep. those Christmas you know, tunes, man. I'm a fucking Grinch at heart. <laughs> hey, man, the, the Grinch it. came around. Just <laughs> I'm just saying. Dude. That <laughs> fucking heart grew 10 times. Yeah, yeah. Ten times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, the 10 times. He's like, bigger. Max, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh. So yeah, I do, I, dude. See, you're gonna change, man. Kids, little by little, man. And then she's a girl too, so like exactly those things just you know they change a man. Yeah, they change Have, a especially man. having Nevea. I feel like you know if she's gonna look for whatever person in her life, like her significant other, they yeah. don't want to like. They have to measure up to dad. Mm. That's it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You're absolutely you're like, right. Dad went yeah. all out. You know, I have you have a high standard of living. Yeah. That standard. Yep. Way up here. That's the truth. But, um, you know, it is funny, though. Um, I know we see a lot of these ladies dressing up, like, next to nothing, which is so crazy because Halloween is always cold as fuck. Yes. <laughs> you know? I was like, how the hell are you wearing it? How? It's like, so cold. How? <laughs> but I've seen a recent um, surge of men dressing up super sexy for Halloween. And I, you know... I don't have any problems with it, but... No, I'm tired of looking at ladies. I, I don't know. think I'm good looking at man, bro. Dude, it is... It is well, some of that man meat out there. <laughs> yeah, man. bro. Sling it around, bro. Yeah, I know it, what the man. ladies have. I want to see what the guys yeah, have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you working with? You lift up the veil? Yeah, yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Look how it quiver. Shoot. Sure. <laughs> it's funny you mentioned that because uh, uh, we were watching TikTok the other day. I think it was TikTok. I'm okay. Not, but uh, it was a, it was a dude. Watching TikTok. <laughs> watching the old... It's addicting, TikTok. dude. It's addicting. <laughs> I tell you, dude. They know how to write that algorithm, yep. but uh, it was a dude, and he was kind of he, he was uh, he was kind of putting out different uh, costume ideas. Okay, so basically he would pull like whatever's in his closet, and he would kind of give uh, different costume things. I think he was trying to help people like come up with costume ideas, and oh, so he'd pull out things from his closet and be like, "Oh, you can be this," and then he would just you know have his uh, ensemble put together. But it would always end up being I'm sexy cop, yeah. just like a <laughs> fucking cop hat. <laughs> He's like fucking naked. Sexy, <laughs> sexy, sexy Chick fil A worker. Fireman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it. He's got a name tag fucking like instead of a piercing, it's yeah, like so, the fucking oh, right God, there. The oh. Dude, but yeah, exactly. That's basically every costume that he came out with was, was like sexy everything. Like it was like he was wearing like a white corset and then he just ended up putting wings on. <laughs> and then he's like, sexy angel. Like, <laughs> Good for him. Good, Good for him. him. But it Did he have a nice bod though? See, that's the thing. Like, mm -hmm. it made me like, at first I was like, oh, like, you know, the old thoughts, like, why is he doing this? But then I was like, oh, dude, he's a fit dude. You yeah. know, he's a good looking yeah. guy. Yeah. He had cool hair. Like, he like was dyeing it like those super bright colors. All right, all right. So I was like, oh, okay. You know? Yeah. At first, like my the old man mentality was like, oh, you know, why why is a man doing this type of <laughs> why, is a man doing this? <laughs> why why are you? <laughs> like snuck in for a second, but then I was like, oh, you know, I was like, one, like, it was getting super creative. Yeah. Like, literally, yeah. he was pulling stuff from his closet. And two, like, I was like, damn, I was like, I wish I looked that good to pull yeah. that stuff off. You know what gets me, man? The hair. I, like, <laughs> now that I'm older and I am where I am. <laughs> I am where I am. 
for sure, it's the hair fucks with me. It's not the body, you know? It's not me looking at the younger body or like a really fucking yeah. physically fit body. Oh, I'll look okay. at the head of hair and I'm, I'm like, like, fuck, why don't I have I'm that? I'm a motherfucker, you know? Yeah. You, know? you like, don't deserve that. That's been my mask throughout life, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, you know, my body is whatever. I never did anything with it, but... My fucking hair. Dude. It's always on point. That's it. You know, trying to do and something And now it's escaping it. yeah. me. <laughs> it's, it won't slap. Bleeding. What is left? I, I don't even use product in my hair anymore because I'm afraid that I'm going to lose it all. I've been going down that route, dude. Like, Vanessa's been, like, telling me, like, hey, start wearing less product type thing. I'm yeah. like, oh, dude. I was like, it looks like it's thinning a little bit. I was <laughs> yeah. like, I think, I think I'm going to stop doing that. Yeah. But I'm in the same boat, dude. Like, my, like, my crowning achievement has always been my do. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. like. The thought of like not having it anymore, like I look at myself sometimes. What's left? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's left? Why am I living this life? I'm just a fucking blob walking around. What the fuck? A blob on legs? Don't look at me. <laughs> I'm hideous. <laughs> <laughs> oh god dude put your right that's a good one. It, it plays into those insecurities <laughs> yeah dude. it really does dude but um like i said i really don't get um too offended when i see a freaking a guy half naked yeah. or women you know <laughs> who am i to freaking judge <laughs> <laughs> but um it's the fucking hair with the guys that's really it you know it's the only thing i would ever get jealous over it's the hair you know what i imagine probably uh it's because you know we were we used to do the do's and yeah. you see the guys like <laughs> oh we're like, oh, th he's doing that now. I, I would imagine it's the same thing for like a dude that used to be fit. Yeah. And then looks at another guy that's fit. And then so he's jealous of his body because that was once him. Yeah. You know, yep. He once had something like, something like we that. We were never fit. So we never had that. Nah. We just had cool dudes. It's like yeah. your hair. <laughs> Fucking cool ass hair. And then I make an old comment which fucking sprouts a gray hair. Yeah. But I'll say it anyway. And I'll be like, just you wait. And just you wait. Yeah. <laughs> you have something in your future yeah. too. Yep. Right there, Sonny. Yep. I'll but, fucking see right through that hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I went there. Uh, speaking of hair, I, I went to a wedding last weekend. And, bro, like, I couldn't wear a hat, you know? And I'm like, fuck, I'm always wearing a hat. So you start like, wearing oh. fedoras. I started doing it's my hair. I already started <laughs> complicating. I was contemplating that, dude. Yeah, it's wedding ready. I started doing my, my hair, and I was like, all right, no. See the thinning right there? I was like, oh, no. I was like, babe, give me the fucking clippers. I'm just gonna do <laughs> I'm gonna introduce myself to the world with a bald head at this wedding. <laughs> Yo, just fucking come in, bro. Damn. He was like, oh, so so white. Yeah, yeah that, do it, but. that's the fear too of when that day comes. Nope. And I have to do it. I mean, it's not the biggest thing, but you're gonna have a really fucking bright head. Yeah. yeah. It's not tanned yet. Dude, you know what made me think? Um, I saw uh, the uh, the Raiders quarterback the other day, Derek Carr. He, like he has really buzzed hair. Okay. And you notice I can see that he's starting to thin too. And I'm like, oh, he played it right. He always kept his head buzzed. Ooh, so like okay. when he ends up going bald, like, yeah. it's nothing. Nothing's changed. You know, he's yeah. just kind of bick it, and then it's like nothing ever changed. Good to go. I was like, damn. I was like, I should have played it that way. Yeah. Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> should have been gradually easing people into it. It's like, damn it. And myself. Yep. Yeah. You're but gonna uh, see Rob and Ray in the corner looking at their old pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Comparing fucking notes. That sucks, man. That brings us to the sponsor of the show, Keeps. Oh, God. Don't do it. No, don't do it. <laughs> that shit fucking me. Me and Rob me. both had bad experiences. Freaked me out. I felt like I was freaking <laughs> tweaking out. My prostate enlarged. Oh, that God, was weird. Damn. So, yeah. I never, I'm never, yeah. I'm just going bald. Fuck it. I was in yeah. that 5% that experienced side effects. <laughs> yes, like, exactly. <laughs> that 5%. <laughs> But, but uh, as far as men, if you got it, flaunt it. Do, got, do what you got. Flaunt it while you have it. Exactly. There you go. That's it. Exactly. Yeah. Do it. You're going to be bald and fat one day. <laughs> <laughs> this is your future. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those like fucking freeze frames. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Put it right here. Uh. But uh, with that, we'll uh, take another break. Yeah. Uh, and we'll be right back. Thanks for coming back. We're about to uh, close this one out. But Andis, yes. Yeah. Thanks for sticking around. Got a few things to uh, to sign this one off with. Yeah. Uh, yep. First, some uh, unfortunate news in our area. Uh, a local, the the local venue, yep. right? Yep. Uh, the local chain reaction. Uh, my first show, Cherry there. Dude, Ooh. all our shows, like, yeah. I remember going there. So if you guys aren't from oh, the yeah, yeah, Southern California it. area, um, I'm sure you guys have seen it or heard of it, but Chain Reaction was a local all-age music venue. Mm -hmm. um, many, many bands have played there. I mean, 
you name them, they play there. Maroon Five has played yeah. there. You know, like bands. That's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> freaking. Just, I can't imagine Maroon Five there. Like Maroon Five to Thursday to like you know Under Oath to Thrice, everyone, Thrice, everybody. Yeah, has, has, yeah, has played there at one time or another. Um, but they, like many businesses yep. in this climate, this uh, pandemic climate, uh, are financially it, yeah. suffering. Uh, they're ba- basically they're on the verge right now. Yeah. I think they're staying afloat by some some Patreons that yeah. are just helping them out, kind of like doing uh, some bands putting out information, yeah. you know, doing some fundraisers for them. Yep. Yeah, helping them. Violent stay open. Gentlemen, the the brand was one of the the companies that stepped up, and yep. then they collaborated with a lot of these bands that you guys yeah. are mentioning right now, um, which is pretty dope because they 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 started what's now spinning off into a much bigger Save Chain Reaction project. And hopefully they do save it, man. Hopefully yeah. they do main, you know. Dude, I was thinking about it. I was like, even if they, because I think they said that at, at least, at least they're done, probably done in the location they're at right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I was thinking, I was like, man, I was like, at least I hope they save it enough to maybe just go to a different location. Yeah. 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 In my head, I'm like, I'd rather have, uh, you know, chain reaction at a different location than no chain reaction. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know? Absolutely. Because we'll be losing like chain fest. Yep. Oh, you know, yes. like, and I, I'm, I'm, before this all hit, I was picturing them going that route mm. of like doing like a big event like that and just turning it into something like a like a festival every year or something like that. Where More they do of the warp tour thing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Especially with that warp tour now too. Yeah. They yeah. Can definitely. It. Yeah. They could feel they that could, need. Yep. Yep. But yeah. Sad news. We'll probably have a bigger bigger segment on it. Yeah. Next week for sure. We'll, yeah. We dive in some history, some of our favorite shows. Yeah, go down memory lane. I just wanted to get the information out. I think uh, there's a like a link to go buy merch and stuff, right? Yeah, well, in the show notes and in the description box, we'll leave any links if you guys feel like you're he- want to help them out. Yeah, if you if you have the means yep. to, you know, yeah. don't put yourself yeah, out. Yeah, definitely. I mean, everybody's struggling. Yeah, right now. for sure. But um, they are making it very affordable. I think all the t-shirts are twenty bucks. Yeah. Um, depending on which collab they're they're selling at the time, but they are taking pre-orders right now. And we will put it in there, but the website is allages.com. Yep. Yes. Super simple. And if you can remember it, perfect. If not, look in the show notes. Yeah. <laughs> or, It'll be yeah. there. Rewind it. 10 yeah. seconds. Or rewind it. <laughs> just watch the, the whole episode all over again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> just for that biddle, little biddle info. <laughs> biddle. I like that. It's a new one. Biddle. Biddle. But yeah. uh, keep it on the music note. Yep. Yeah. We got another new noise segment. Oh, you got <laughs> 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 Um. <laughs> Dude, these guys popped up in my feed, and I'm glad that they did. Okay. Um, so we know a another band called Day Seeker, who previously was a band called Arms Like Yours, mm-hmm. uh, fronted by uh, the lead singer. Uh, one second, yeah. uh, Rory Rodriguez, mm-hmm. and he. This new project is with him and his. I think the drummer from Day Seeker. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think the dude's Mike. Um, this is a Mike. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's all. He doesn't have no last name. <laughs> but, um, so the, this is a kind of a kind of a dark synth wavy like kind of sound to it. Right, Fuck right. yeah, dude! Like right up my alley. Yeah, um, give so it to me. I wanted to show you guys and uh, see what you guys think. Yeah. All right, cool. That was Hurt Wave. All right. Uh, we listened to the songs Bleach and Sever. Mm-hmm. I like uh, it. You guys are digging it? I'm dig digging it. it. Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like, yeah, I'm digging it for sure. Yeah, I, I like whatever, you know, synth wave. Yeah. There's like so many fucking names for that genre now. Yeah, vapor, vapor wave, waves, retro you know. wave, whatever it's called. I think they've even started like <laughs> naming them after, I've, I've noticed this, uh, after the Spotify Spotify playlist they fall in. Like oh, wow, I was watching something that was talking about like synthwave, and they're like, "Oh, how to write an outrun song?" And outrun is the name of the playlist of a lot of like the retro wave synthwave wow, okay. stuff is on on in uh, Spotify. Oh, that's great, that's, that's so crazy. funny. What the heck? Maybe it's something I don't. Maybe it's yeah. like a term I don't know, but maybe. Yeah, I'm digging it. Uh, I just feel like I've heard something like that before, ah. which is cool. I mean, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I love the. I like the style. I can definitely see myself listening to it later yeah again i have like a an interesting thought of like their progression from here though because knowing the jump which is not a big jump we just said that off the mic that the jump from his original style 
like the, in the that melodic hardcore yeah to this not that crazy i can see it but that second song not bleach the other one uh sever yeah sever mm -hmm. That one had a more mainstream feel mm -hmm. and that more almost like this like pop R and B vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like His I, cadences were there. Like I like when I heard it too, like I could totally hear them getting into the realm of progressing to the realm of like the weekend. Like yeah. getting into that like Yeah, yeah. I can definitely see that. Which yeah, yeah. I was thinking, like, is that gonna make you not a fan? Like someone that found them early on oh. with the certain sound that you're like, I like you guys right there. It depends on the like the progression. Like the way I go with my bands, like I will give them a chance. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I'll go with them on it. Sometimes I won't. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> honestly, I don't. If they progress to like a weekend sound, which I don't mind. I like the weekend. That's not bad. Like the weekend. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I mean, yeah. I, I'm gonna like it. You know. Yeah. So I I would be cool with it. Yeah. You know. And that's cool that you pointed that out because that's like what I was thinking. Like the weekend. Yeah. I think like blinding lights. Like kind of. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 For sure. And I think like that song would have hit maybe. I, I don't know how it did or whatever, but maybe it got bigger. But like, it was a more a little bit like driving, you uh, know? Mm, like, you know? Yeah. I think that actually this, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think I see them post that they hit like pretty good numbers. Like I think 20,000 streams in the first week. Oh shit, oh, nice. Yeah. That's good for Huge. them. For yeah. them, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. So I was like, damn. So. Especially for a band really quick that only has three songs that are not yeah. on an album. Not on Just three no tracks. No album yet. Just three singles. Three singles. So that's crazy. Waiting for the album to drop. Yep. Yeah, cool. That's nice. Well, good shit. Yeah, I'll be waiting for that too. So, this is some new noise. You guys want to check it out? Hurt Wave. Um, and uh, they that's don't have funny. an album out. But uh, yeah, when I heard yeah, the name, yeah, I, was like, I was like, it's funny. <laughs> Vapor Wave, Retro Wave, Hurt yeah, Wave. Yeah, I was like, it's that's almost too perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like they're defining their genre. Yeah, like giving yeah it a we name. are fucking, you know, some type of Retro Wave or yeah. shit like that. Yeah, you know? that's funny. They're like just <laughs> they leaning into it. Next on the uh, the new noise train, yep. Uh, we got a <laughs> hop on <laughs> in, guys. <laughs> but uh, we got a new track from uh, Nothing Nowhere and uh, Kenny Hoopla. Mm, okay, um, and I believe it says it's also featuring Judge. Who's Judge? I don't know who this is. I don't know who that one is. But anyways, this is by Nothing Nowhere and Kenny Hoopla, and the song is called Blood. Good, some new music to listen to. Yep. Been listening to my instrumentals. It'd be cool to hear something like that. Yeah, dude, it hooked me when I first heard yeah. it. I mean, I, why do you think that's why? Like, like the bad singers resonate with this somewhere. They're not bad singers, but they have their own unique voice. Like, taking back Sunday guy's name. Forget it, Adam. Oh, Adam and Lazara. Yeah, Adam Lazara. Fucking Anthony Green. You know. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Those guys resonate more with us than like, like Dallas Green. Even though he's like pitch perfect. Right. Yeah, Great you're voice. right. There's something to that. You know. Yeah. Yeah, Dallas will end up putting me to sleep. Yeah, yeah. Before I it's end so up it's like, beautiful and serenading, but it's too perfect. It is too perfect. Yeah. It's way too perfect. And it's even in his live, he in his live, he's just a fucking great singer. He yeah. doesn't <laughs> he doesn't go off pitch even live. Yeah. It's almost like it's almost he's too good that it's like detrimental yeah, to his sound. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, that's exactly how it is. Yeah. Like yeah. I I fell asleep standing up. Oh, Real quick, that was uh crazy. that was uh Blood by Nothing Nowhere featuring Kenny Hoopla. Yeah. But yeah, to what you were saying, like, I think with Kenny Hoopla's voice, like, same thing with Nothing Nowhere's voice is like, there's uh, like a vulnerability to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where like, I like that. I, we kind of talked about it off mic a little bit where there's a conviction yeah. in it. Where like, Definitely. I think that's why it kind of pulls yeah. us in, you know? Yeah, I think I, I got to listen to more of the other guy, Nothing Nowhere, mm -hmm. um, because I didn't really dig the energy in his voice there. Mm -hmm. Still, it still felt like here. Yeah. Whereas like uh um let's see like Kenny Hoopla mm. um I felt I, I I felt and liked the imperfections in his voice. You know? Yeah, like like I said, like there's like you like you said it when we were listening to it, like you're like I liked his energy. Yeah. And I felt like you captured that for me. Like I was like, Oh, that's what's kind of hooking me is like mm -hmm. his energy. Yeah. There's something in the way he's, you know, as opposed to at least on this track, nothing newer was like a little more vanilla. Mm -hmm. On his yeah, other tracks, you definitely. might do. Yeah, it. I liked the the other in the song you showed me. Yeah, uh, I think you mentioned it last week. There was something about like talking about like uh, maybe we were talking off air or something, but like about introducing like kind of a. I think you said something uh, like it, like rock with trap beats or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, if you listen to oh, yeah, nothing yeah. nowhere's other stuff, you'll that's oh, okay, kind of cool, down yeah. that alley. He even right. like flows on some other things. I like that. Cool. So, yeah, that was a uh, again, uh, "Blood" by 
Nothing Nowhere featuring Kenny Hoopla. Good song. Good jam. If you yeah, guys dug good. it, go give them some support, some love. Check them out. Um, I'm dating. I'm gonna, I got some new shit to listen to, which is cool. Yeah, it is good shit. I love sharing new music. I love, you know, yeah, yeah. preaching yeah, the gospel of good music. That's it, man. <laughs> yeah, that's it. If you got anything out of this podcast, hopefully it was, you know, some new tunes for you guys. Yeah. If you got anything to share, put it in the comments. Like any music we should be listening to, check yes, it out. Please, please. Ah, that's yeah, a good idea, dude. Anything but for country. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> unless it's like, uh, you know, unless leaning. It's not country? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, unless it's not country. Unless it's leaning out of country. Send What's the that con- one song? Send the country highway. Nice. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Oh, uh, uh, Old Town Road? Old Town yeah. Road. Yeah. Nothing like that. Uh, I guess it's still country. Yeah. It is country, right? I don't even I, fucking know. Dude. The new generation is just like genre bending exactly, so yeah. much. Like whatever. Send us anything. Yeah. Just send us and nah, we'll review yeah. it and we'll check it out and let you know how we feel about it. If no creed we, or... we may not. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they make a comeback, we'll probably. <laughs> yeah, well, I want to hear that. that. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, Let's my not gosh. fucking think something into yeah, existence here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. We did that. that no. Yeah. Yeah. It was all our fault. <laughs> We're sorry. But uh, I guess uh, that's that's about all for this episode. I think that's really that's it. it. Yeah, yeah. There's not much more. Seriously. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, everybody have a happy, safe Halloween out there. Yep. Uh, Be safe. Check your candy. If you go door to door. Wear your masks any hands. or whatever. Yeah. Carry some hand sanitizer. Wear your masks over your mask. <laughs> yes, exactly. Don't ever catch yourself though. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're gonna read on the news. Yeah. Ooh, mass just mass fainting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh yep. don't forget to uh if you made it this far, go ahead and subscribe if you're listening to the or watching the video version. Yep. Like mm-hmm. the video. Um if you're listening to the audio version, go watch the video version, please. And then if uh you are inclined, follow us on all the socials. Um you can slide into the DMs, let us know yeah. any any tunes you want us to listen to. Yep. For sure. Um, but, I just uh, want to talk. Oh, yeah. You want to be friends. And I'm going to throw something out there. If there's anything that you guys want to do to help, feel free to drop that in the DM as well. If you're creative in any way, if you oh, guys yeah. do videography, if you do uh, any art, or if you guys just want to donate some money, <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take whatever. We're always we'll take accepting. It. We'll come. Come. It. We're always accepting unpaid interns. That's it. <laughs> yes. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, until next time, take care. Peace. Stay spooky. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs>